Hi guys, it is a glorious fall evening here in the end times here on Tuesday night, October 30th, 2018. We've got lightning bugs blinking on October 30th. Uh, something's weird here in the end times and what's left of the paradise of Garfield, Texas here on Tuesday, October 30th, 2018. So anyway, guys, <coughs> I was not planning to um, talk about Chris Hedges' article in Truth Dig this Monday because I have just given, you know, as he deserves, I have given so much airtime here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe to Chris Hedges' weekly essays or rants, whatever you want to call them, in Truth Dig. And so, uh, since this article that he wrote yesterday did not, it, you know, exactly, he was not exactly talking about the Doomosphere or any particular person or any particular, I don't know, group of ass-licking toadies in the Doomosphere. I just went ahead and passed it over, uh, and, and, but now I have found, good Lord, I, I have had more requests from Alert Tribes members to uh, talk about this article about cult leaders. Cult leaders, and every bit as much as cult leaders, as the ass-licking toady cult followers. Uh, believing uh, all of the unadulterated horseshit and lies coming out of cult leaders' mouths. Y you know, I don't, I, I don't talk about cult leaders or ass-licking toadies on this channel. So I don't know why so many of you are going like, like Hambone, my God, are, are you going to let Chris Hedges to just go on by w without comment. And that's exactly what I was going to do. But uh, just re responding to tribes members' request who think that I should be so interested in, some, in Chris Hedges' dis uh, explanation of a cult leader and ass-licking toadies following cult leaders, I'm just going to share a few minutes of it. I will put the link to the rest of this essay in case you missed it, so uh, I will put the link and you can go read it yourself. But here is a taste of Chris Hedges explaining to anyone interested for whatever reason, and I can't imagine why anybody uh, at Humpty Dumpty Tribe or anyone down here in the Doomosphere would be interested in cult leaders in their ass-licking toadies, but whatever. Uh, and here goes. <clears throat> Take it away, Chris Hedges, and tell us about cult leaders. Cult leaders are narcissists. They demand obsequious fawning and total obedience. They prize loyalty above competence. They wield absolute control. They do not tolerate criticism. They are deeply insecure, a trait they attempt to cover up with bombastic grandiosity. They are amoral and emotionally and physically abusive. They see those around them as objects to be manipulated for their own empowerment, enjoyment, and often sadistic entertainment. All those outside the cult of ass-licking toadies are branded as forces of evil prompting an epic battle whose natural expression is violence. Hmm. George Orwell understood that cult leaders manipulate their followers primarily through language, not force. 
This linguistic manipulation is a gradual process. It is rooted in continual mental chaos and verbal confusion, lies and outlandish ideas and contradictory statements that defy reality and fact soon paralyze the opposition. The opposition with every attempt to counter this absurdity with the rational plays to the plays to the cult leader the cult leader does not take his own statements seriously and often denies ever making them even when they are documented Lies and truth do not matter. The language of the cult leader is designed exclusively to appeal to the emotional needs of the ass-licking toadies in his cult. The cult leader constantly paints a picture of an existential threat, often invented, that puts the ass-licking toady cult followers in danger. The cult leader makes no effort to reach out to his opponents. The cult leader seeks to widen the divisions. The leader brands those outside the cult as irredeemable. The leader seeks the omnipotence to crush those who do not kneel in adoration. The ass-licking toady followers yearning to be protected and empowered by their cult leader seek to give the cult leader omnipotence. <clears throat> Those ass-licking toadies in the cult seek to be surrounded by the cult leader's magical aura. Reality is sacrificed for fantasy. Those who challenge the fantasy are not considered human. Behavior that ensures the destruction of a public figure's career does not affect a cult leader. It does not matter how many lies uttered by the cult leader are meticulously documented. It does not matter that he is credibly charged by numerous women with being a sexual predator, a common characteristic of cult leaders. The cult leader responds to only one emotion, fear. There you go, okay. Now, all of you can stop sending me emails and sending me links to this story by uh, Chris Hedges. I, I am a little bit confused why so many people here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe were, were so pissing in their pants excited that Hambone Littletail would have any particular interest uh, in this story about cult leaders and their ass-licking toady cult followers. But, you know, it's a fairly interesting story, uh, and Chris Hedges is the man, so I will put the link to Chris's uh, Truth Dig uh, essay from yesterday if you have not read it and want to educate yourself on cult leaders. This is required reading. I hope I've done my duty for the night, so now... I can get back to Pile of Fish Internet Dating Service. Bye, guys.